Well, welcome, welcome, everybody. I am, uh, yeah, very excited to have you guys all on here tonight. We've uh, got, like I said, a lot of people on here, and I'm excited for really, you know, a couple reasons. And um, this is something I, you know, I am so passionate about. I'm very passionate about helping people uh, succeed. This is going to be really uh, a unique webinar tonight. Um, and, uh, we're going to talk about the seven secrets to becoming a top earner. And these are seven things that I have really seen over my career here, uh, in internet marketing. I've seen it in my career in the, in the home business industry, um, you know, in general. And so for me, I love to share these things. I'm sharing probably what, what I'm most passionate about when it comes to this. Now, I'm just going to give you a warning here. Okay. This is not going to be your typical webinar training. I'm not teaching you lead generation tonight. I'm not going to teach you strategy. What I'm going to give you tonight is what you really, really need. Okay. I'm going to give you what you need, not what you want. So if, if, you, if you don't like it when people get fired up, you might want to get off this webinar because I'm pretty fired up about this topic. And some of the things that I'm going to talk about tonight are probably going to light you up. Okay. And uh, if you if you uh, <laughs> if you're uh, honest with yourself, you're probably going to look at some of the things I talk about tonight and go, "Whoa, I'm definitely not doing that. I, I'm not doing that." Because I'm telling you, I have worked with literally thousands and thousands of people over the years, and I've come to see what causes people to succeed and what causes them to not succeed. I work with people who are seven figure earners in the industry. Um, I work with people who are in the up and up, people who are just rocking it in the industry. I mastermind with the best of the best because I want to be like them. I want to learn from them. I want to garner their knowledge, okay? And I try to take what I learn and put it to practice in my business. And over the course of the last number of years, I've really come to narrow it down to certain things and certain attributes, and that's what I'm going to share with you tonight. So if you're looking for lead generation, this is not your webinar. I'm not going to, again, share with you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear. And that's what this tonight is all about. So I hope you're with me. Do I have your permission? I'm assuming I do. So that's what we're going to do is go ahead and get started here. So let me ask you a few questions as we get started here. I want you for just a moment to imagine your family life 12 months from now where you didn't have to work a full-time job anymore. Now, I know there's some of you on here that probably work a full-time job and there's more than anything you want out of that job. I know I've been in that position before. I remember, you know, leaving to uh, go to work in the morning, literally tears streaming down my face because I didn't want to work this stinking job anymore. I was tired of it. And I just didn't want to do it. My heart was not in it. My heart was, I wanted my freedom. I wanted to be with my family. And I was just begging God to give me a way that I could work from home. And I'm telling you, I want you to picture that as well. You probably feel me. If you're working a job, you want out of it. I talk to people every day that tell me that they want this in their life, in their business. Well, I'm going to share with you what you need tonight to make that happen. How would it feel to finally start getting traction and start getting results like top earners do? I just want you to imagine the feeling of that. You see, there was a point in my business where I could not even picture it in my mind. I could not picture making several thousand dollars a month. I remember just saying, you know, I'll just be so happy if I could just make $2,000 a month. I'd be so happy. That's all I need just to be happy. You know, and I remember saying that. And now I look and I think to myself, wow, that was small thinking. That was little. That was like minute. My brain could not handle more at that time. So I really want you to get this in your mind and I want you to see a big picture. You know what? It's okay. It's okay to imagine this. Because if you can't imagine it, you're not going to be able to achieve it. So I want you to really look, dig deep, get that feeling, tap into the feeling of what it'll feel like to finally start getting traction, to start seeing leads coming in, to start seeing sales being made, to start recruiting people into your business. Get that feeling. 
You see top earners, this happens for them daily. They get people contacting them daily. People sign up daily. Sales come in daily. I want you to imagine that. Getting those emails that say commission, commission, commission. It can happen for you. What would it do for your personal life if you could do what you want when you want? Man, imagine that concept. Nobody telling you what to do. Nobody. Nobody saying, hey, you know what? You can't take off for this vacation because we need you. It's the busiest time of the year. Imagine that. You know, you know what, about, what about being able to go off uh, you know, uh, on a moment's notice and take your spouse out to lunch with you? Not having to ask if you can take an extended lunch. I do it all the time with my wife. You know, I, some days we'll just be like, you know what, let's go out and get lunch and we'll go out for two hours and hang out, you know, and talk and just do whatever. That's priceless. So ask yourself, what would it do for you to be able to do what you want when you want? Imagine it because it can happen. So here, I had to throw this in here. All right. <laughs> This is me, guys. This is my home business story. So some of you guys may or may not know me, but this is me back in like, oh, 1992. And uh, yes, this is the prize mullet that I used to have. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm showing you this because I want you to know that I did not all of a sudden one day wake up and have success in my business. Okay. I've been very fortunate over the last couple of years to build a multiple six-figure business in in uh, and uh, online, and it's been an incredible journey, and I'm super grateful for it. But I want you to understand, this is where I came from. I was mullet man, all right. I had zero business ability, okay, zero. I didn't know anything about business. I woke up, think you know, in the morning, uh, going to school, preparing for uh, you know. What I thought was at some point I would have to go to school and get a job. That was just what I was taught. Go to school, get get a job, you know, get good grades, go get a job and have a secure future. Same thing, you know, you hear from Robert Kiyosaki. So I just had that lifestyle. So I had zero business ability. I was I was totally into heavy metal. I, I just I was just one of those regular normal guys that was into like Motley Crue and Cinderella and all those guys from the 80s. I loved it. You know, that was me, just a normal guy. I rode my bike. I was into, you know, I was into BMX. You know, that was about 60 pounds ago. But the reality of it is I was into BMX. I used to ride, you know, freestyle ramps. I was like the skater guy. And you can see here, I've got these big bushy bangs. You know, I was totally into that. I was just a normal guy. You know, young guy going through life, had no ability. Had no idea what I wanted to do with my life after high school. Zero. I had no idea. I didn't want to go to college. I was like, you know what? I don't, I wanted something bigger. I just didn't know what it was, you know? And I was an extremely shy and very much introverted. I was just so introverted. I was very shy. I really, you know, I, I, I was so afraid to talk to girls. I mean, I was literally just, I was that guy that would duck under stuff so that nobody would notice me. And, you know, that was me. I was extremely introverted. And uh, that was just something that uh, I grew up being. I was just a shy kid. And uh, so out of high school, I, um, you know, I, uh, uh, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So uh, I uh, went in the Navy, you know, and you see this picture here of me in the U.S. Navy. So out of high school, I took a year off, enjoyed it after high school, basically did nothing. And, uh, just enjoyed myself, rode my bike and had fun. And then I figured, you know what? It's probably time that I decide to do something with my life. So I decided to join the U.S. Navy and I went and served in the Navy for two years. At the time, they had a two year program, uh, you know, uh, but I still really didn't know what to do. You know, I went out there, served, had a great time, really one of the great times of my life. Super proud of, you know, serving our, our country. And, uh, you know, I got out. Uh, started doing some things and about 2000 came along and I got involved in Amway, a great company in the network marketing industry. And this was my first exposure uh, to the industry. A guy, you know, got approached by a guy at a gas station, sat down with him at a Denny's restaurant and boom, I was sold on the concept of my freedom. I knew what I wanted. Okay. I knew what I wanted. I didn't want to work a job. I didn't want to go to college. I didn't want to do any of those things. 
So what did I do? I, I, I caught the freedom bug in 2000 and uh, I was in that company for about, you know, a couple years, several years. And, um, it, and then I eventually moved over to another company where I stayed for four years. And it was in this company that I really learned some of the business building strategies and things that I am going to share with you today. I failed miserably for a very long time. Okay. And uh, I want you to know when I started in the year 2000 in the home business industry, I didn't start to see success until about 2012. So really about four years ago is when my business really took off. And I'm going to share with you why that happened. So I failed miserably for a very long time. I'm sure some of you on this webinar right now can probably relate to that. You know, you can probably think, and yeah, I've been at this a while. Um, my wife's or my husband or, you know, they're always wondering what's, uh, you know, when's this going to happen? You know, you've been investing all this time. You stay up till two in the morning. You do all these things and you can probably relate to me. I've been there, been there, done that. And I was literally frustrated beyond belief in my lack of results. Believe me, I talk to people daily. I hear the same thing. I hear the same thing as to why people are not succeeding. And it's the same thing. It's the same reasons I had. And uh, I'm telling you, there's there's so much commonality between people that succeed and people who don't. You know, the people that don't succeed, it's usually for a combination of reasons that are are the same throughout all the people that don't succeed. And then you look at the people who do succeed and they've got all these commonalities as well between all of them that do succeed. So you just have to look and see. So this was my home business journey. You know, fast forward, here we are to just this past summer. Here I am on stage accepting a bonus check for $3,000. I competed in a, a high level affiliate contest. I earned $55,000 in commissions in, in uh, about 10 days. And I won this commission check. It's Ray Higdon on the stage giving that to me. And, uh, you know, it was an amazing experience. It was kind of, it's literally been one of the highlights of my, my online career. You know, in, that in literally 10 days, making $55,000 in commissions. I don't know about you, but that's pretty dang exciting. So, you know, uh, 2012 was my first six-figure year. Um, my business really has tripled since then. You know, um, so in, in, let's see, in 2012, I had my first six figure year. Shortly after that, I plateaued. I was literally stuck. I was at a plateau and I decided to uh, hire a coach. And when I hired a coach, my business has literally tripled since then. And that's been uh, a, probably about a little bit over a year and a half ago, working on two years. And, uh, but my business has tripled. So, you know, you look at that and you think, well, what happened? Well, we're going to talk about that. Um, and again, I placed third place in, in the biggest affiliate contest. This this contest, it did almost a million dollars in sales. All right. And, uh, you know, to place that high, I went against some of the best marketers in our space. You know, you see uh, two of my buddies there, Caesar and Tanya, they're a couple. You know, they got first place. I got third. The guy that got second wasn't there. But man, it, between first and third, it was a difference of 14 sales. It was crazy, the most invigorating contest I've ever been in. So pretty awesome. I earned numerous prizes and trips for production, and I'm a top producer in the affiliate marketing system, MLSP. So the question is, what changed? What changed? What? How did I go from a regular mullet guy in, you know, in 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 high school, super shy, super introverted? How did I go from you know, this guy who just was not ambitious. I had no major aspirations, really. I just was is kind of slacking off. I, I, I really had no responsibility. I loved having no responsibility. And uh, how did I go from that to making, really, I had no money. I remember those days out of high school, I had no money. I, I think I, I started working at a skate park and I was making like $70 every two weeks but I didn't care. You know, I mean, I was, I was very, I just wanted to do what I wanted to do. So what changed from then till now where I can go off and make 55 grand in one, in, in one 10 day period in an affiliate contest? What's the big difference? Well, here's some quotes for you that I think will do a very good job in helping to explain what caused the change in me. 
Abraham Lincoln. Here's one of these great quotes. He said, give me six hours to chop down a tree and I will spend the first four sharpening the ax. So what was he really saying here? What was Abraham Lincoln really saying? He was saying, if you give me something to do, I'm going to spend at least 60% of the time working on me more than I'm going to work on you know, uh, my business. So here he's saying, I'm going to work on me harder than I work on my business. And that brings me to the next quote, which comes from Jim Rohn. And Jim Rohn said, work harder on yourself than you do on your business. You see, I was part of a company that really believed in working on me. I was a part of a company that really preached and went out there and they talked about working on yourself harder than you work on your business. You see, this is a concept that most people just don't get in this industry. You see, so many people I work with that come online and they, they think they know what they want. They think they know what they need, but honestly, they don't know what they need. What they really need is they need to learn to work what's between the ears, not the super tool or the super strategy that's going to build a list for them. You see, because you can build a list till the you know till the cows come home. You can learn every traffic strategy, every stinking lead strategy out there. You can learn conversion. You can do all these things. But if you don't have the mental capacity to handle any of that, guess what's going to happen? Nothing. You're going to be right where you are right now because you haven't worked on the number one tool that's going to make the biggest difference in your life and in your business, and it's called your brain. It, you need to work on what's between the ears. Jim Rohn, one of the greatest business philosophers of all time. He's a legend, and he is just one of the best. I never had the opportunity to meet him. He died a couple years ago, but this thing is very, this is what changed. Listen to me. I, I'm here on this webinar. You can hear the passion in my voice. You see, I was not this type of person many years ago. Again, I was shy. You could never get me up in front of a room to talk to people. Now I get on stages and talk in front of hundreds of people. I get on webinars with hundreds and thousands of people sometimes. I train and I don't even break a sweat. Why? Because I worked on me. That's why. I'm so passionate about this subject because I know that if I want to see you succeed, and I know that if 2016 is going to be the best year ever for you, you got to start being serious about what's going on between your ears. That's what's going to make the difference. That's what's going to make you become a top earner and actually succeed. Are you feeling me here? Is this something that's really resonating with you guys? If you are, go ahead and just maybe stick up your hand a little bit and give me some feedback here. You know, let me know. Is this resonating with you? I'd love to see it. All right, cool. Lots of hands going up. Seems like a lot of you are getting this. All right, awesome. Very good. All right, well, I'm going to continue here, all right? All right, so let's dig in here and let's talk about the seven secrets of all top earners. All right, now I went through and I really thought about these and these are the things that I've seen over the years that top earners practice. And I'm going to break them down a little bit for you and uh, help you to understand it. So if for me, going from, you know, being that guy who, you know, who, uh, who didn't have a... Um, you know, a, a care in the world who really had no idea what I wanted to do with my life, who was extremely shy, who was, you know, very introverted, who just really would prefer to stick my head under, under the pillow and not, you know, talk to anybody to somebody who, you know, is, uh, you know, now standing on stages, teaching people and sharing with people. I don't say that to brag, but I'm very proud of the accomplishments that I've had in my life. And I like to share those. Not out of egotism, but out of just happiness. You know, I, I've, I've worked very hard to get where I am, and I'm very happy about that. And I want to teach others and bring you along as well. So here we go. Here's the first one. Top earners, they think big. All right? Thinking big is something that is so crucial. The ability to see way beyond their current circumstances and where they're going. You see, it's very easy to get wrapped up in what's going on currently. Every single day when I talk to people on the phone, I always hear very similar things. 
I'm so busy. My, 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 you know, I, I got so many bills. I'm in debt. I don't have time. I don't have all these things. And it's, it's kind of all the same thing is that people are always wrapped up in their circumstances. Believe me, I get it. I've been there. I was at a point in my life where I was wrapped up in my circumstances. I was almost a half a million dollars in debt. I had a mortgage that was just massive. I had car loans. I had consumer debt. I was literally barely keeping my head above water. Matter of fact, I was underwater. Okay. I was drowning. Literally. I was, you know, uh, I remember specifically I had like, I'm like at this point where I'm, how did I get here? I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm spending a thousand dollars more a month than I make. It's like, how do I, how did I get in this point? How did I get to this point? I mean, literally, you know, using credit cards to pay you know, bills. And it's like, how was I ever going to pay it back? You know, and I was so wrapped up in my circumstances that I couldn't literally see beyond that. But see, this is what top earners do. They take their present circumstance and they literally grab them, push them down and look up and above them. This is part of thinking big. It's looking beyond where you're at. Okay, so here's if you're feeling that right now, like let's say you're in some situation, you're just you're not sure where to go. And I can almost guarantee you with as many people as we have on this webinar that you're going to feel me here, that you're probably, you know, really stressed out of where you're at in your life. I'm going to exhort you to put that aside and and start to look beyond your current circumstances, start to look beyond and look where you want to go. What's the worst thing that can happen to you? What's the worst thing that can happen? What? They take your house away? Big deal. I got my house taken away. You, you, you lose your car? Well, hey, there could be worse things. You know, um, what? The, the credit card company is going to put it on your credit report? Ooh, big deal. My credit's horrible. But you want to know something? I've done pretty well with bad credit. <laughs> All right? The point is, what is the worst that can happen? Look beyond it, see beyond it, and just accept some of the things that are going on. But the top earners think big. The little frustrations don't get them down. One of the things that I see with people that I coach, people I talk to, people I see online is this frustration. These little frustration, they get so frustrated at the little things that they can't control. And they're so wrapped up in them. And yet these are the things that knock people out of their business over and over and over again. Oh, this is stupid. I can't get YouTube to work my video right. This is so frustrating. And that's all they say. This is so frustrating. And they can't get beyond that because they're so wrapped up in the circumstances. So top earners don't let those little frustrations get them down. Do you know what, frust you know what top earners do? They press through them. They just keep going. There's like this persistence to keep going and never stopping. And top earners consistently put themselves outside their comfort zone because this is where growth happens. The average person, and not one of you on this webinar average or you wouldn't be here. The average person does not like getting outside the comfort zone. You see, the comfort zone is the broke zone. The comfort zone is where there is no money. There is... The comfort zone is where there is no success. The comfort zone is not where your dream is. The comfort zone represents uh, what you, everything you don't want. The comfort zone is everything that you don't want in your life or in your business. But that's where most people reside. Why? Because the second they begin to step outside that comfort zone, they have what I call the snapback. The snapback is where you, you're starting to feel a little uncomfortable and people associate being uncomfortable with bad. Ooh, uncomfortable, bad. Move back. Oh, I'm comfortable. Good. People go through this in their mind. You see, top earners think so big that they see their present circumstance and they realize that even though they're uncomfortable and they might experience some frustration, they know that being uncomfortable is where the personal growth happens. This is what partially, and I'm going to go through the rest here in a minute. These are the things that have helped me make that change. The reason because I decided I made a decision that I was going to get uncomfortable. Why? Because trainers and people that I trusted were telling me that in order to succeed, I had to get outside my comfort zone. 
And I believed him. I was stupid enough to believe him. And look what happened. I went on and had success in my business. And I'm so grateful for that. So top earners, they think big. They look way beyond their current circumstance to see the big picture. And they go for it. Do you want to be a top earner? You got to start thinking big. You got to get out from behind all the junk that's holding you back. Number two, they commit fully to their goal. Fully. They have an unshakable commitment to the end goal. You know, one of the things that I hear often when talking with people, working with people is, well, Mark, how long is this going to take? How long is it going to take? You know what my answer is? What does it matter? If you are unshakably committed to the end goal, then what does the time frame matter? You see, partly what takes people out is their impatience. It's their inability to see beyond their current circumstance. It falls back on number one. You know, when we talked about thinking big, the current circumstance is what drags people down. Well, I need this to happen. I, if, if this is going to work, I've got to make money now. And they're so, it's because their, their life circumstances are dragging them down to a point where they're putting so much pressure on themselves to actually, you know, uh, perform that it's causing them to have this mental instability, so to speak, not in a, you know, a crazy type way, but a, this mental emotional instability that causes them to wafer on the end goal. They've got this end goal in mind. They know where they want to go, but yet the current circumstances have them all, you know, upset in their mind and they can't see anything but this current circumstance. You see, if you want to succeed, you got to commit fully to the goal. You've got to have an unshakable, unwavering commitment to the end. What do you want? Do you want to get home full time with your family? Then what does it matter how long it takes? If it takes you five years, well, then so what? Time's going to pass anyway. It's going to pass anyway. You might as well start moving toward a goal. Man, I went 12 years. I was stupid enough to believe that I could actually succeed at this thing. And for 12 years, I believed that. 12 years. And I just kept going. I kept going because... I just knew that I had to. And I look today and I'm thinking, man, how grateful I am. Every time I'm sitting here at my desk and I'm doing something and my little girl comes running in when she gets home from school and gives me this big hug. Hey, daddy, my day was awesome. I think to myself, I'm in heaven because I didn't quit. You got to have the attitude of, I will not be denied. You got to have that attitude. I will not be denied. This is what I want and I am going for it. God did not put me on this life, you know, in this life to live a life of mediocrity. You got to have that full commitment. This is the absolute thing top earners have. In my life, in my business, this is what I have. I'm committed to me. I am committed to my family. Because I'm going to tell you right now, some of you might not like what I'm about to say, but if you're not going to fully commit, then get the hell out of this thing. I'm serious. Get out. If you're not going to fully throw yourself in, then what are you doing? Go back to the job. Don't be lukewarm. Don't have one toe in and one toe out. You're, it's a grueling, a grueling thing that you're doing to yourself and your family. Throw yourself in. I, I, had, I did a blog post like a couple years ago, and it was the name of it was Cannonball. You got a cannonball into this thing. It's like when you're going to a pool. All right, let me give you this example. So you go to a pool and you get to the pool and what's the first thing you do? Okay. So you get there, you get in your bathing suit and what do you do? You check to see if the water's cold or not. And nine times out of 10, it's cold unless it's a heated pool. And what happens? You put your toe in, you're like, oh my gosh, that's so cold. And then you, you start to just go in very slowly 
And it's so painful, <laughs> is it not? It's just this is what people are doing in their business. They're like tiptoeing into the water. Oh my gosh, this is so cold. Oh gosh. You know, and they're just, they're they're literally like freaking out because it's so cold and you're like, oh my gosh. You know, and you're just going in little bit by little bit. And this is what people are doing in their business. It's like this painful process. If you were to just run and cannonball in, man, you'd be over that cold in about 30 seconds. But people, it's like they prefer the painful slow route because they refuse to throw themselves all the way in. They refuse to fully commit. I'm here to challenge you tonight to say, get out of that mindset. Put on that I will not be denied attitude and run for it. Do you want to be a top earner? This is what you got to do. Do you want to be somebody who's going to go on and do something great and, and you know do something for yourself and your family? Well, then quit playing around. Fully commit or get out because you're hurting yourself and you're hurting your family. And then what's going to happen is you're going to come in here. It's not going to work out for you. And you're going to leave with sour grapes. Oh, this industry doesn't work. It's nothing but a scam. And then you're going to go out on all these forums and you're going to say, oh, yeah, I tried that and it didn't work. When really, you're the one that didn't work. This is what happens in our industry. This is why the network marketing, home business, top tier, all these things, you want to know why it has a bad rap? Because idiots get involved in this industry and don't fully commit and then go out and bash everything when they didn't do squat. Because it's easier to blame than it is to take responsibility. I'm here to tell you tonight, if you want this thing, if you want 2016 to be your best year, it's time to jump in the water. Quit putting the dang toe in and jump in. Commit fully. When you, okay, being fully committed is the complete opposite of wishy-washy. And I think I've made that point. People that are fully committed, they see the vision and they stay focused on it. No matter how long it takes, you see it. You know where you want to be. The time really doesn't matter. You just know you're heading in that direction. And until you get there, you won't stop. Number three, top earners master their thinking. They master it. They master their thinking. They obliterate the inner critic. You see, one of the big things that all of us struggle with is we have this inner critic. We have this inner critic that says, I can't do this. Uh, I'm scared. I'm too fat. I'm too skinny. I don't have enough makeup on. My hair's too long. I'm ugly. This is what we tell ourselves. So many people do this. And they have it's because they haven't mastered their the way they think. They think they're not worthy. They think that they don't deserve success. Sure, in the back of their mind, you know, or in the in the forefront of their mind, they may be thinking, well, I want success, but subconsciously, they're they're beating themselves up. We all have to deal with this. I have to deal with it. Okay? But I can tell you right now, I believe I am worthy of success. I believe that I'm worthy to be where I'm at in my business, and I also believe that I'm worthy to go beyond and grow beyond where I'm currently at. So I obliterate the inner critic. Was it always that no way? No, it wasn't. It wasn't always that way. You know, there were times where I really would beat myself up as to why I wasn't doing things. And I still deal with that today, just like everybody. But we've got to recognize the inner critic and push beyond it. Top earners le learn to keep their emotions under control. Okay, this is, remember, this is all a mental thing here. I'm not telling you what you want to hear. I'm telling you what you need to hear. All right? That's what this is all about tonight. But top earners learn to master them and keep their emotions under control. They, let, they don't let their frustrations keep them from moving forward. They learn to manage discouragement. You know, just like me, you know, I've had to deal with this before. I'm telling you a lot of my story. Again, not to brag, but just to give you my own my own. Um, you know, uh, uh, experiences, but they manage discouragement. See, we're all going to get discouraged. Believe me, I don't care what level you're at. Every single level, it's natural as human beings 
that we want to go beyond where we're at. We want to grow. It's like bred in our DNA. But if we don't expect and understand the process of growth, that growth can be painful in a way. You've heard the term growing pains. That's exactly what it's going to take for you to go on and accomplish what you want to in your business. But you have to manage discouragement. So, okay, you're going to be discouraged. That's going to happen. We all have it. No matter, again, no matter what level. You see, last year, and some of you have heard me share this story, I did a big product launch, my first big product launch on my own. It was laden with just massive blunders, massive blunders. You know, things were breaking, things weren't working right, but it turned out to be an incredibly successful launch. Why? Because <laughs> I just continued to go through it. I was at a point where I was literally crying on my wife's shoulders. That's how tough it was to grow through that. But I had to manage that discouragement to not keep me from continuing to move forward. I was literally like a hair away from canceling the whole dang thing. So I had to learn to manage that discouragement. You know, top earners are never desperate to sign someone up. Never. Never. Man, I've turned people away that want to give me money, that literally are ready to buy something in their hand, and I realize that it's not best for them. And they're, they're just, some people would be like, oh my gosh, yes, please just sign up. I'll pay for you. <laughs> I used to do that. I used to do that years ago. I'd be like, I'll, I'll pay for you. Just get in. I'll pay. You know, I just, I just want somebody. See, that's desperation. You have to learn to master your thinking. You got to learn to, to have posture and realize that you don't want everybody. You're looking for the people that want to, that are looking for you essentially. So by mastering your thinking, you keep control of yourself. You don't get into that desperate state. This is what top earners do. And top earners make decisive decisions. There's nothing worse, nothing worse. And I see it all the time that people, man, it's like trying to get them to make a decision is like pulling teeth, man. It's like, just decide. So I don't even push people to make decisions, to be honest with you, because if somebody doesn't want to make a decisive decision personally, you know, we're just not ready to work together yet. You know, I'm telling you, I've made big, huge decisions on a, on a moment's notice. I've done that. There were times when I didn't do that. It would take me weeks to make a decision. You know, it's like, I'll be honest with you. I, I, uh, I promote, um, uh, MLSP. I love MLSP. It's a $10 trial. It's a $10 trial and people, it's like they got to go through this massive like research campaign and this whole thing of like, you know, going through this whole thing to figure out if they want to spend 10 bucks when they go out on Friday night and spend a hundred drinking beer and doing all these things when it's, you know, it really doesn't do anything. And I'm not against drinking beer, by the way. I'm just saying people go out and waste money like crazy, but they won't spend 10 bucks to potentially help them in their future. And that can work with anything, any opportunity. You guys know what I'm talking about. You've been involved in this industry when you're trying to talk to somebody and you're, you're trying to tell them, oh, this is so great. This will really help you. And yet they waffle. They can't make this decision. It's just like, oh, I need to research it and, and I need to talk this and I need to do that. It's like, dude, make a decision already. You know what I'm talking about. You've been there. You've seen it. I've seen it. That's not what top earners do. They make decisive decisions. They see something, they see an opportunity, bam, they're on it. They don't have to sit there and think about it. They're just confident in their ability to make decisions. Now, in that process, of course, you're probably going to make some mistakes or bad calls. So what? Big deal. That's I have learned so much from my mistakes. I've learned so much from my bad calls. But see, most people are so afraid to make a bad call. They take it so personal and they're, and they're so down about it and they're so downtrodden. And they think they're a horrible person because they made a mistake. And that's not what it's about. Mistakes can be some of the biggest learning you'll ever experience. But it's all about changing your perspective on what it is. These are how top earners are able to be full time. It's these these things that I'm sharing with you here. It's a mindset. It's an attitude. It's a mentality. Number four, 
Top earners are constantly investing in their skills, always tapped into the latest training, always. They're passionate. They stick with it. They're in there. They're constantly adding to their value. The biggest part of their budget is personal development. You know, it's funny. I remember when I first got going in this, in this industry, I remember I was, I would never even like buy a book. I like, I was, I was like anti book man. And I remember one of my leaders, I was out at a Denny's restaurant one night after a, a meeting of showing the plan and everybody was there. And I remember this leader, he's sharing and he's sharing that people need to be tapped into reading books. And I'm like, yeah, I don't need to read books. I got it all figured out. I mean, literally in my mind, I'm like, oh, why would I want to read books? And that was exactly why I wasn't succeeding because, it, and he even made the comment that night. He's like, look, I want you to believe at some point to have a mar or a personal development budget of $5,000 a month or more. And I remember, huh? I remember my mind like, yeah, right. I don't even, you know, I mean, that was just so far beyond like my, my thinking period. Like I was just, you, you gotta be kidding me. Spend $5,000 a month on, on books. Well, today I spend more than that per month on coaching, on books, courses. And I look back and I think, wow, how far I've come in a period of time to actually see and actually experience what that guy told me about 15 years ago. That I should look to have a budget of $5,000. I'm investing so much in my development and my skill sets that um, it's just, you know, you don't even take it a second thought. And now I look today and I'm like, wow, that's the best money that I spend every single month on my coaching, my personal development. I'm buying books, audio books. I, I'm, I, you know, I start out the day reading a book. I start out with my spiritual books. Then I move on to other things. I move on to training courses. I'm always buying training courses. You know, people get on my webinars and they're like, Mark, why do you have so much value? It's because I'm constantly investing in me. That's why. Not because I'm something great. It's just, I believe in it. Do you want to be in that place? You got to constantly invest in your skills. Always. People will spend $150 a month on their damn cable bill, but they won't buy a $20 book that could potentially save their life and change their life. Does that sound harsh? You're dang right it's harsh, but I'm here to make an imprint on you so that 2016 doesn't turn out to be like 2015. I don't know about you, but 2015 is long gone and I'm ready to tackle it in 2016. I am ready to tear it up and I am so ready to take people with me. I don't know if that's you, but if it is, stay tapped in because I'm ready and I'm ready to see more testimonials. That's what I want. Always invest in coaches and mentors. This is what top earners do. You know, I told you a little bit before, when I finally invested in a coach, literally a year and a half to two years later, here I am, my business has tripled. Why? Because it expanded my thinking, pointed me in a new direction, opened up things, made me think about things that I never thought of before. It gave me the information I needed to move forward. So I always invest in coaches and mentors. It's like one of the biggest things I love to do. And it's this unwavering commitment to better themselves. I challenge you right now, I challenge you to find me a leader in the home business industry that is a million dollar earner or more that is not committed to personal development. I challenge you. I, you will never find it. I promise you. You probably, almost every single person that I know that is successful in this industry has a book collection. They're constantly going to seminars. You know, my buddy, Brian Finale, guy owns a company. He's one of the, uh, the owners of My Lead System Pro. He owns a company, you know, his company's done almost $30 million in sales. Okay. The dude makes a ton of money and he's super humble about it, but you want to know something he's gone right now at a mastermind, uh, uh, weekend. I mean, he goes on these every couple weeks, you know, every couple months, man. I mean, if that doesn't speak volumes to you and I know tons of other top earners and top people in the industry that do the same thing. Why? Because they know the value that it provides to them. They know the return on investment is investing in their mindset and their skills. That's what they're committed to. Are you committed? Well, you got to constantly invest in you. Here's what top earners do. They have vision and focus. They're ultra clear on the steps to attain the goal. 
They're ultra clear. And they're super clear on the goal itself. It's not just a matter of knowing the steps to the goal. You got to know what is the goal. What do you want to accomplish? Great. You want to stay at home full time. You want to work at home full time. Great. How are you going to do it? You know, here's the one thing that I, I ask you, okay? If I was to ask people, what do you want to do? I want to stay home. I want to be with my kids. I want to watch my kids grow up. I want to, you know, I want to do the things that I want to do. Awesome. So once you, you know, once you, uh, you know, you're home full time, what are you going to do with your time? Well, I'm, you know, I'm just going to do stuff. No, no. What are you going to do with your time? You see, people don't have a concept of, uh, of what they actually are going to do with that time. What are you going to do? Okay. So you got a whole day off. Imagine where do you want to go? What do you want to do? And get that detailed about it. Understand where you want to be. Be very clear on that goal. And then work on the steps to start attaining it. Have a vision so strong that it inspires others. When you have a vision that's so strong, you just know where you're going. Man, people want to follow. People never follow the guy or the gal that have no idea where they're going. It just doesn't happen. If you want to inspire people, if you want to build a following, if you want to, you know, build an audience, you got to be strong and you got to have a vision that's just so strong that it inspires others to want to follow you. Man, when they see them like, man, he's going somewhere, man, she's going somewhere. That's what they think. If you don't give off that aura about you, people are never going to follow you. I would never follow you. Do you, th- you would never follow me. You would never follow another leader if somebody didn't have a clear goal or a clear vision of where they wanted to take themselves. So understand, look at what is it, what qualities do you look for when you follow somebody? When you truly look at somebody and, and, and you focus you know, on, on what it is that they're doing to help you attain you know, those, those goals or whatever. And you have that vision so strong that it just inspires others. And that's what we're talking about. So top earners, they never allow the bumps to derail them. Okay. This is very important. You are, it's a guarantee that you're going to have bumps in the road. I'm telling you. And the bumps are what so often derail people. They have this goal. They have a vision. They want to attain it. They know which way they're going. And a bump comes and boom, oh, I'm out of here. I can't, I can't handle it. I can't, I, can't, I can't handle it. It's like no resistance whatsoever. You have to learn to build up some resistance here. I'm not being hard. I'm not trying to be hard. I love every one of you on here. I love everybody. I really do. I'm like one of the most humble guys. I really want to see people succeed. But man, you got to build up a little bit of resistance, a little bump in the road. You know, and you'd be surprised at some of the things that people quit over. Well, you didn't call me on time, so this is a scam. I'm done. Okay. You know, uh, I mean, you know, whatever. Oh, I can't figure out this video. This is, this is, I'm just, this is, I can't do this. Okay. And they're gone. You know, if you really want to be a top earner, it's not going to fall in your lap. You got to build up resistance. You got to have vision, focus. You got to be so unshakable that you want to attain it. What you want is so bad you can taste it. That's what you got to do. Number six, top earners master their time. They master it. You only have 24 hours in a day, but you want to know something? So does the guy or the gal that's earning a million dollars a year. So is the guy or gal that's earning multiple six figures. So is the guy or gal that's working and making five figures a month. So is the guy or gal who's making a thousand dollars a month. Everybody has 24 hours in a day. So you got to learn to master your time on some level. Now I'm not talking about like, you know, you don't have to be like ridiculously, uh, you know, scheduled to every little minute, but you should have an idea of how you're going to spend your day. And this is one of the areas that I see people that just constantly, you know, they're missing the boat on this. You know, they're just, man, they're just, 
I have no time and I'm so busy all the time and you know I just can't seem to find the time to make a video and man uh, raise your hand if that's you blink a little bit you know raise that hand a little bit back and forth do you feel like that do you feel like man sometimes I'm just struggling to have the time come on give me a little bit give me a little bit don't don't be shy I'm not gonna I'm gonna tell on you I'm not gonna read your name here okay there you go lots of them <laughs> lots of blinking because it's true. This is a big one. So we got to master our time here. Prioritize money-making activities. Man, being busy doesn't mean anything. Okay. See, I've talked to people and I've been there myself where it's like, well, I'm so busy all the time. And it creates this false sense of security that I'm, I'm busy. So that must mean that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Wrong. You see, many people are focused on non-money-making activities. They think, well, I'm working on my blog, not a money-making activity. Uh, well, I'm, 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 uh, I, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, uh, you know, I'm, I'm working on my my graphics, not a money-making activity. That's that's a money-draining activity. What's a money-making activity? It's talking to somebody on the phone. A money-making activity is creating a blog post or a piece of content and getting it out there for somebody to view. That's a money-making activity. You know, signing people up in your business. Obviously, that's a money-making activity. So you want to focus on those high-priority things. For me, my high priorities are uh, generating leads, creating content, and on the phone with people. That's my priorities. That's what I focus on. For me, that's my big focus. I don't really want to be doing anything else. Because I know that with those activities, those are the things that are going to bring me money. That's what's going to help build my business further. So if, if you're so focused on all these other things that are taking away and stealing your time and giving you this false sense of security that you're actually working when really you're just wasting time working on your blog and it's really not getting you anywhere. But it's not good, Mark. My, my blog doesn't look perfect. So what? Go talk to Ray Higdon. Number one blogger in our niche. His blog looked horrible for years. But you know what he did? He still blogged on it. And you know what he did? He became one of the number one bloggers with a crappy looking blog. His blog looks awesome now. It looks amazing. But for the longest time, it was just like, you know, it was, it was a horrible blog. You know, <laughs> he knows I'm telling everybody. You know, I tell this too because he knows. He's heard me say it. But the, the funny thing is, is that people are so focused on making everything perfect. But you got to keep a flexible schedule too. Things change throughout the day and just be flexible. All right. So when you're mastering your time, be flexible. Always focused on attacking the big things first. One of my favorite books, and I highly recommend you read it. It's called Eat That Frog by, by uh, Brian Tracy. Eat That Frog. And basically what he, the whole premise of the book is really good. I highly recommend you read it. But the whole premise is you got to get the biggest thing off the plate every single morning, every single day. That one thing that you put off that you're like, oh, oh man, I don't want to do that. It's just too much work. That's the thing you need to be focusing on because that's the thing that's going to bring you the greatest return on investment. And those are the things that most people avoid. So you always stay focused on attacking the biggest thing first when it comes to mastering your time. The every day, what is... What is the biggest thing I need to accomplish? If you're putting yourself on a challenge, like a content creating challenge or something to that effect, or let's say you're going out and you want to recruit people into your business, then you know that every single day you need to be talking to a couple people to do that. So you focus on that. That is your high priority. You stay focused on that. You get that done first before you do anything else. And yet, Many people are focused on the complete opposite of things because subconsciously they're, they're thinking, well, I really, I, I, I'm, I'm procrastinating and I really don't want to do that. This is what they're thinking subconsciously. Subconsciously, they're putting it off. So they start to do these other things and begin to justify. And then six months down the line, wonder why they're not getting results. It's because you've been avoiding doing the big thing you know you need to be doing. So mastering your time is crucial if you want to be a top earner and especially if you want to go full time. So here it is, the big number seven. And this right here is the one that's probably going to bite some people on this webinar. It's consistency. It's consistently taking action. 
Never make excuses for lack of action. Never. Well, I'm so busy. That's okay. You still got time. I couldn't make that video. Well, that's okay. You got five minutes, right? Takes you five minutes to do on your cell phone. Did you do it? Well, no. Well, no excuses. I didn't talk to anybody today because I just don't have time. You got a cell phone, right? Yep. You have a uh, messenger? Yep. Why don't you write somebody? Oh, okay. You got five minutes? Awesome. Connect with somebody today. I'm telling you, actually, guys, what we do to build our business is actually so simple. It's so simple. The, 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 the things that we do, the little actions that we have to take are so simple, but we contrive these things, this made up stuff in our minds and we procrastinate and we don't do it. We don't put our heart into it. We don't, we don't, we don't push ourselves outside the comfort zone because it's just, we're not that uncomfortable. <laughs> we're not that uncomfortable. I'm actually, things don't hurt bad enough, so I'm not going to do it. You see, Trust me, if things get to the point for you where they're hurting bad enough, oh, you'll take action. You'll take action because your life depends upon it. Believe me, I know. That's how it finally happened for me. I actually had to put myself in a position where I didn't willfully put myself there, but I had $7 in my bank account and no groceries. Well, I'm telling you, when that happens, you figure out how to make it happen. It's amazing what we can do when we're backed into a corner. Well, why wait that long? Why wait till you're back in a corner to make something happen? Get out there. If you really want this, if you really, really want 2016 to be your best year yet, then what are you waiting on? Stop waiting. Stop waiting. Stop waiting for your sponsor to do something for you. Stop waiting for the people that refer you into other programs to do something for you. Well, they didn't help me and they didn't get on the phone and do it for me. Stop waiting. It's your dream. It's not theirs. It's yours. Sure, they can be there to help you, but the key word is to help you. And if you're not taking action, I can't help you. You see how that works? <laughs> Simple. Do the little things each day to move forward. Greatest book ever written, Changed My Life. I talk about it on almost every single training I ever do. And I hope if you haven't heard of this book, you go run and get it because it changed it for me. It's called The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. I talk about it all the time. Best book ever. It's the easiest book to read, but it's the biggest book that will smack you right between the eyes and you will finally understand why people succeed and people don't. It's because they live what's called the slight edge. It, the slight edge is you're either moving forward or you're moving backward. You're taking little steps that... that seem very insignificant in the, in the act of doing them, but they mean all the difference in the world over time. It's like the compounding penny. If you take a penny, okay, if you take one penny and you double that penny every day, guess what happens? By the end of the month, you have something like $4 million. Crazy, isn't it? Something crazy like that. But you double that penny, by the end of the month, you'll have <laughs> 4 million bucks. Who would have thought from a penny? Who would have thought? Who would have thunk it? <laughs> but it's those little things. It's those little things that matter. And I'm not going to do a video today because you know what? I just don't feel like it. I'll do it tomorrow. And that was the decision. You know, one of the things that he talks about in the book is he gives this description of what it's like. You know, if you go to, you know, McDonald's and you buy a Big Mac and you eat a Big Mac at McDonald's and, a, you know, a large French fry and a Coke, poison, by the way, put that in your body, you're probably not going to fall over and have a heart attack that day, are you? No. But if you eat that stuff over 20 years every day, guess what's going to happen? Oh, eventually you're going to keel over and die because that stuff's bad for you. So the question is, okay, great. I did it once, but see, these are the decisions that people make every single day. You got to read that book. I'm telling you, it'll change you. It changed me. I'm actually due to listen to it. I listen to it at least once or twice a year. I have the audio book and I have the actual book too, but I, you know, that, that is something that I'm, I, I listen to. It reminds me of uh, the intricacies of really how simple it is. The, if, if that makes sense, the intricacies of how simple it is, but it reminds me of the actions to take. So I, I recommend it. Do those little things each day to move forward. 
never seeking perfection in place of inaction. You see, man, I, I'm telling you, this right here is exactly why many people don't succeed. This is exactly why. They seek perfection in place of action. It should be action. But they're looking to be perfect before they take action. They're seeking perfection. Well, I just, I, you know, I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> I just want to make sure it's right. How many of you have said that before? I can raise my hand there. I can tell you right now, I've done that over and over again. Well, I just want it to be perfect. It's got to be right. You know, I don't want to make a mistake. But that's the same stuff they tell themselves every single day, day in and day out. And yet here they are, still in the same place. Haven't done much. Been, I've been, you know, I've been buying programs. I've been spending all this money and I'm not getting results. Great. Awesome. Have you done anything with what you've learned? Well, you know, I, I, I did a video once about six months ago. And I, I took a little action about six months ago, and people wonder why they don't succeed. You can buy all the courses in the world, but if you don't do anything with it, if you haven't exercised your mind enough to dig into that information and then put it into practice, you're not going to get anywhere. So it's not just, you can't, it's not a matter of just buying stuff and buying training. You have to invest, you have to learn it, and then go out and do it. So, but stop seeking perfection because perfection is unattainable. You can't, you can't be perfect. It's not possible. The best thing that I ever learned was to take action and not be perfect. You know, I was at a mastermind uh, last year in May and I started coining the phrase that I am the king of half ass <laughs> because I just don't care if it's perfect anymore. I'm so used to just going out there and doing it that I don't care if it's perfect. Now, I like it to look good. I like to be right. I like it to be good, but I don't let that hold me back. And many people are, are trying to seek perfection. And they, what's happening is you're carrying over the junk from your job because at your job, you've got to be perfect. At your job, you can't make many mistakes because if you make many mistakes, guess what? You're going to be fired. That's not how it works here. You can make mistakes and you can recover from those mistakes. Those mistakes are not going to hold you back. Okay? You will be able to recover from them. So stop trying to seek perfection in place of action, of taking action. It just doesn't work that way. So stop trying to be perfect and do it. You can make corrections along the way. One of my favorite things is you can't, I always say this, you cannot steer a parked car. It's impossible. Think about it. When you're sitting in your car and it's parked, try to turn the steering wheel. You, you can't. It's very hard. You may be able to turn it because you have power steering, but in the end, you can't really steer it because you're not moving forward. Even if you're moving forward at one mile an hour, you can steer that car. But so many people are not taking action and they're crying, wondering why they're not getting results. Well, you can't steer the car if it's not moving. Get moving. And this is one thing that will really help you in terms of taking action is to use your imagination. Use the imagination that God gave you. Put it to use. You know, I mean, one of the greatest things that I tell people in marketing is that you can let your creativity run wild with this thing. Because I'm telling you, I was just talking to somebody yesterday uh, in a coaching session and I was telling her, she was asking me about Facebook ads. And I said one thing about Facebook ads. I said, you know, with Facebook ads, what's really cool is you can just get creative. Nothing is really off limits because you're going to find that some things you do won't get your results, but others will be huge in getting your results. So you got to just try and be creative and use that imagination. That will make all the difference for you. All right, so I'm going to give you a bonus point here, and that is never quit. And then I'm about to I'm going to move into something here, uh, something that I'm really excited about, something I've never done, something I've wanted to do for a long time. And uh, if you're ready to take it to the next level, well, stick around, okay? Because I'm going to share something with you. But here's the bonus point. All right, never quit. Leaders refuse to quit. 
leaders are so stubborn and they are so committed that they refuse to stop. It's like you just, you're so committed, there's no possible way you can quit. And this is what leaders do. These are what top earners do. They keep going until they figure it out. They have an unrelenting persistence to see it through to completion. Disappointment is only temporary. They understand that when they're disappointed and they're unhappy, that it's only a temporary state. This is what they understand. And they understand that sacrifice is also needed in order to attain the goal. You know, I heard somebody say one time, well, I don't like the word sacrifice. And I was like, really? Really? You don't like the word sacrifice? Is it because maybe you're just complacent and happy where you're at? If you are, that's cool. Just be, you know, be honest about it. But I just know that if you want to, you know, if you want to attain a major goal or if you want to attain something great, you're going to have to do some sacrifice. It's going to be needed. So I got this picture here. When you feel like quitting, think about why you started. You know, it's a tragedy, actually. So many times in this industry, I see people that have the same reasons they get into their business are the same reasons they get out of their business. It's the same. It's sad. They get in because they have no time. They want to see their kids. They want to, you know, they're, they're, they're not making enough money, this, that, and whatever. And that's the exact same reason they turn around and use those excuses to get out. Well, I don't have time. I never see my kids and I'm not making any money. Kind of crazy, isn't it? So if you want to be a top earner, if you want to go full time and you want to blow 2016 out of the water, you can't quit, guys. You got to dig in. You've got to make sure that you are fully committed to your business. If you treat this like a hobby, it will pay you like a hobby. If you treat it like the million-dollar business that it is, it will pay you like that. 